excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMB, the Sexy Ninja, in the place to be for uh, Paper Saber Universe, and this is the New World Podcast. Oh, my goodness. Power in my mouth. Can't even talk. I'm so excited to talk about AEW's collision. August 12, 2023, in Rickabondi, Nigel McGinnis on commentary, and we're in Greensboro, North Carolina. And we got, um, we start the show with Tony Schiavone in the ring, and he calls out Ricky Starks. I'm really enjoying this heel Ricky Starks. But the, the, the thing about heel Ricky Starks is you don't need to interact with the crowd. Like, he cut a really bad Mamma Jamma promo, man. He suspended for 30 days for uh, beating beating up uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, but he's got his manager's license, and but he can still be here, but he can't compete for the next 30 days, so that puts him and Punk's story a little bit on hold. Uh, but he tells Punk, I'm going to bring war to your front door, CM Punk. This is not over at all. And that was my only problem was when he was coming out and, he, and the fans had his hand and he hits the hand. I'm like, you're a heel. Don't do that. You know, I not, don't do this anti-hero shit because you're not that. You're legitimately a heel. So don't interact with that crowd. That That's my only, like, like you know, kayfabe in it, brother. You know, got to keep the business, brother. Got to keep it protected, brother. You know, that, that was the only thing when he came out and he, he hit the hand. I was like, no, 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 don't do it. Like, oh. Then he comes in and cuts a great promo. Heel style and everything. Talk about bringing war to CM Punk. And I was like, okay. Okay, well, he's a heel. <laughs> Um, Bucks FTR package for all in. It's only two weeks away. Jeez, Louise. Ladies and gentlemen, that's crazy. And they broke the record, the record beating WWE when they uh, were last there at Wembley Stadium. And that's congrats. It's an honor, especially for this uh this group. They're like uh they they just keep moving along and moving along, moving along. They've had some hardships, this company has, Tony. Everything for CM Punk and everything, but looking at the payoff right now at All In and Wembley Stadium is going to be huge, and it's going to be awesome, especially for every all the talent on this uh, on this team. Uh, we got the Acclaim in action versus the Iron Savages. The Acclaim for the win. Wow, <laughs> I didn't expect Iron Savages to get a win because the Acclaim now had to rebuild themselves after Daddy Ass is gone, took his boots off, and uh, went home. They cut a promo afterwards and saying, like, we're going to get back to the ta- top of the tag team division here. And I hope they do because I like the acclaimed and I want to know what's going to happen with the daddy ass here, you know, because they need to get scissors. Blah, 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 blah. All right, Bullet Club goes backstage, guns up. Uh, the guns challenge the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks got everyone after them lately. They're going to face FTR. They faced the Hardys last week, and now they're going to face the Guns next week. Bang, bang, gang, baby. You can't, you can't mess with that. This is, this is some awesome. This is some awesomeness. Uh, one of my favorite matches of the night, Willow Nightingale, Chris Statlander versus uh, Diamante and uh, Mercedes Martinez. Who? what a match. What a banger of a match, man. Um, Diamante and Mercedes for the win. But the, the, this was a really top-tier match. Women's Tag Team Championship. And I'm wondering if AEW should have a Women's Tag Team Championship. Um, but also, too, is that sort of title cursed? Because WWE has been trying and trying and trying and just can't. But right here, Willow and Chris and Diamante and Mercedes, much love and much respect. This match was a banger. And Diamante, god damn. She hit Willow Nightingale. Willow Nightingale rolls out. She goes, fuck you. And I'm like, whoa, bitch. I think she said bitch at the end. I was like, damn. Is there some heat there between these two? <laughs> uh, Tony Storm's backstage. I really like what Tony's doing here. I really like the fact that she's got like this robe and she's a mess. She's kind of got this Marilyn Monroe thing going on ever since she lost the championship and whatnot. You know, she's just like she's broken just because she lost the championship to Sheeta and she just loses it here a little bit more. And I, I like that she's descending into madness. Next up, Samoa Joe versus uh, Andrew Everett. <laughs> Who do you think won? Samoa Joe choked him out. He got he did his walk away spot and uh Andrew thought he was uh, clever. Don't do that to Joe. You wanna know why? Joe Joe's gonna kill you. 
That's what Joe's going to do, and he did. Choked you out. Cuts a promo and tells Punk, like, hey, I thought you were a man I bought, you know, going after. Like, I, 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 I thought you were going to answer me, but I guess I have to go get the answer myself, which happens later on tonight. Uh, the TNT Championship is on the line. Luchasaurus uh, versus uh, Brock Anderson. But first, Christian Cage cuts a promo in the ring talking about Darby and everything and their thing and All Out. And what's crazy is, like, All In happens, and two weeks later, All Out happens. So there's a lot going on in, uh, in those three weeks right there. And we got Fighter Fest all next week, you know, Fight for the Fallen. So it, it's, it's a lot. And what's nice, what's crazy is, too, is, like, I started... I started really following AEW like religiously um, before the Full Gear pay per view. Yeah, that was before Full Gear, so that's around November. And so now I'm experiencing all these things. I know about Fighter Fest. I know about this. You know, that, well, like I said before, I started like actually covering AEW hardcore. It was one of those things where I I would peep peek in every once in a while. I didn't know what was going on, but I peeked in. But now it's crazy. Like and now I'm living like now I'm here at Fighter Fest. Now I'm here at Fight for the Fallen. I'm here for all these shows you hear about winter is coming and whatnot. So it's it's pretty it's pretty freaking cool in my opinion. Um but uh Arn is back. He comes out and he's like hey I'm I'm kind of a legend here, you know, and this is my son. And I gotta say man, looking at Arn and looking at Brock, I was like fuck it's like the de-aging and like de-aging program in front of us but it's not that's his son that's crazy man um luchas so it sets up luchasaurus and uh, brock and luchasaurus for the win but here comes darby darby's like hey, look here bitch i'm coming after you then he's gonna face christian cage next week on dynamite and um he's gonna face luchasaurus at all out for that tnt championship and darby says he's gonna put some respect back on it you know, and so then we have uh, Tony Schiavone in the ring now. He's with uh, going to get call out uh, Powerhouse Hobbs. Really didn't give a shit about this. <laughs> I, I don't know. I like Powerhouse Hobbs, but I just, I don't know. This whole book of Hobbs thing, I just don't really care for. Then he calls out. I mean, it was funny. What's really funny about this is, um, what's really, really funny about this is I was like, where the fuck is Miro? Isn't this supposed to be like his show, his thing, his uh, shindig and that whatnot? And right when I said, I was like, wait a minute. Right, right when I was going to write that, I was like, he's going to call out Miro, isn't he? The Redeemer, because this is his redemption arc, whatever. And here comes Miro. QTV attacks and, you know, Powerhouse Hobbs lays him out. But is the Powerhouse Hobbs working with QTV still? You know, after saying, I don't need no help. But he got their help and he used their help and he took out Miro. And I just, I don't care. Um, the main event. Trios championship on the line. House of Black, the champs versus CMFTR. JR comes out, uh, gets on commentary. Um, this was a this was a match. This was this is my sec this is my favorite match of the night. Second is Willow, uh, Chris Diamante, and Mercedes. This was the match of the night, man. I knew it was gonna deliver. They got a goal, uh, almost a good thirty minutes, um, and this was a main event material type style match. And I, I'm really you know what's crazy is I thought CM Punk was gonna be very limited. With this next run, you know, like, I'm going to be like a Brock Lesnar. I'm going to show up when I can. But no, he's been wrestling consistently. And, you know, he's he's doing the damn thing. And he's looking better each and every time, you know. I remember when he first came back and had his first, first match. Man, I was very critical of him because it did not look good. But, man, I got to say, with the second run, he's like CM Punk 3.0. Because he already tried 2.0. But we're now in 3.0 for CM Punk. But guess what happens? This is what uh, how, you know, House of Black for the win. They retain those championships. Um, after a banger of a match, but here comes Joe, grabs Punk, chokes his ass so, and he's getting his, you know, just, Ugh! and that's the way we ended here with Punk on the ground, FTR defeated, uh, we're on to next week, and this is the end of my week, this is the start of my, uh, two days off, uh, so that's why I love a good AEW collision to end my week and the Monday Night Raw to start my week, so, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's all. I give this show a solid three and a half out of five. Match of the night, House of Black versus CMFTR for the Trio Championship. Second match, Willow, Chris, Diamante, Mercedes. That was a banger of a tag team match, man. Um, all right, y'all. Tell me what you thought of the show. Drop those comments below. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Share with your grandma. Share with your grandma. Share with the bump down at Walmart. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash New World Podcast and get yourself that sweet NWP logo created by Penta X. Nothing but love and respect. It's got some new music coming out soon. You can go follow him on the social medias. Just show Penta X some love. And that's it. That's all. I am KMB the Sexy Ninja. And remember that the New World Podcast is for life, brother.
But now, punker, I'm going to convince you. And what is that?